Well, I didn't really do mushrooms until I was 26 years old. Um, and, you know, my first experience with it was really, really good. Um, I do find it, it mushrooms is a way to kind of open up your perception. You, you get a different perspective on your life, the things you're going through, relationships, work, etc. cetera. Um, you feel like your heart chakra just feels blasted open. You feel so much love. What is, what is chakras? I, uh, I don't know understand. What, I just, I had this freaking guy once and. And, and you, I was t asking him questions about mushrooms and different things like that. And he was like, oh yeah, blast open your heart chakra. So I say it more sarcastically. <laughs> I just say it, it blast open your, <laughs> I say it sarcastically, bro. I thought you were going to give little, me some science. These, like. No, these little, these little terms, bro. Like the people, like I just create my, I see someone say that. I'm like, bro, that's fucking hilarious. A lot of times people th say, say things dead ass serious. And I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. I say it sarcastically. Okay. But it, the feeling of, of blasting open your heart chakras, a lot of times, we kind of have a shield over our heart and we're kind of, you know, living not in love, but we're living in fear. Yes. Fear of putting ourselves out there, fear of, you know, this. So, oh, you know, my, my brother and, you know, there's fear between us. I, I can't just give him love because I'm scared of this and that. There's all these different. So most people, you're living out of fear and you're blocked. Um, you have a shield over your heart. You know, I feel like most of us don't just wear our heart on our sleeve. Most of us are, you know, as we go through life, we're pretty like pulled back. And so mushrooms, as far as blasting open your heart chakra, you just feel that a lot of times that fear or, or any pain or any sort of um, animosity is sort of like it's distorted love. And you start to be like, holy shit, there's so much love with, uh, between me and this person and all this miscommunication and all this stuff is really just an illusion. And, deep, and there's so much love. This person loves me, you know, and I love this person. So you do enter a state of just love. You feel so much love. Um, you feel deep presence. It's not about being here or not about hanging on to your past. It's about being right here in the moment. This moment's so beautiful. Wow. I feel so appreciative. Um, you feel like a complete fullness in life. A lot of the things that Mushrooms does, you can get to with meditation. If you listen to Eckhart Tolle's teachings, it all brings you to the same place. It's almost like Mushrooms is like a freaking short circuit to get there. Um, it's also like a nice reset where every single day when you have emotional stress, pain, work, X, Y, and Z, things that are weighing on you and you don't do like the work every single day, you get this cumulative buildup of stress that can kind of wear you down. And where, whereas if you were to do like a, you know, small dose of mushrooms once in a blue moon, it would kind of release that. It'd give you a little bit of a reset. Um, and, uh, and it's a beautiful experience. It's a very, very beautiful experience. I have a very, you know, I, like I'm not one to really always recommend things, but I think that, you know, if you're over 25 and you have like a pretty, you know, even even head on your shoulders. Um, and, you know, I think it's an incredibly beautiful experience for someone to, to have. It is an incredible, beautiful experience. And if anyone's caught up in like drinking too much or, you know, God forbid, like hard drugs, Doing mushrooms will make the feeling of anything else feel trivial, feel like nothing, feel like garbage. Um, the feeling of drunk like garbage. Um, it's just such a beautiful, full, serene experience. Um, it's lasting. It like it lasts for a few hours and then it slowly kind of, you know, you come out of it, but you come out of it in a very good place. So it is a very, very beautiful experience. Um, and I know some people that are really, against sort of drugs and against anything that affects your mind, um, any sort of like uh, thing that's hallucinogenic. I mean, look, you, if you don't want to do it, you absolutely don't have to do it. Um, but like the, for me, like mushrooms isn't trying to hallucinate. It's not trying to create some crazy experiences and have fun. It's really about how can I, what am I not seeing right now? Where am I living in, out of fear? Where am I not seeing the love in my life? It's more about connecting with myself and it's a tool that you can use to like really uh, audit your life almost and audit your relationships and audit your feelings. And um, I've had a really good experience with mushrooms. That said, if you're doing it every week, if you're doing it to party, if you're doing it for as an escapism, which it can be, then that's definitely not good. So I, for me, I really find like, you know, I have to force myself to do mushrooms. Like I, 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 I go months without doing it. I'm like, sh you know, I, I want to do it, but like, it is a big time investment. Like you are like fucking little, like you got, it's a few four or five hour time investment. So like, 
I really like, I really, uh, I really like, you know, force myself to do it. And, and so I, it's not like I, I'm like, oh my God, I want to do it. It's like, I, I, I force myself to, it, it, I see the benefits and I haven't seen any issues, um, with doing it. I just would recommend like, if you are someone that has an addictive personality, you are someone that has, you know, maybe a screw loose, it's probably not a good thing. Um, but if you have a good head on your shoulders and like, it's funny, like the people that really want to do mushrooms might not always be the right, the best people who, or who needs it the most. It's the people that actually don't want to do it, that are resistant to it, that actually need it the most. Yeah. Well, how, mushrooms are something that is pretty- Just, just like, and just, sorry, just, uh, yeah. it's just like the people that really, really hate working out a certain muscle group. Oh, I hate working out as much. Those are the ones that need it or hate doing a certain workout. Those are the ones that need it. But mixed martial arts that hate doing cardio. Those are the ones that need it. Yep. So same thing, really. It's like what we resist is actually the thing that we need. Yeah. 